I received an interesting comment, and I think this is worth exploring. I wanted to talk about this more. The video I made a while back was called Why Americans Are Ethnocentric, an Honest Answer. I received this comment, quote, seen from this side of the pond, which apparently is in Europe, Mexico and the U.S. have much more in common than the U.S. and any European white country. It is funny, actually, end quote. I've never thought about that until today, but I completely agree with this statement. I think there's a lot of truth in that, and now I'm going to be more aware of it. Uh, just to illustrate this point even more is the fact that my mom is half Mexican, and you can tell by looking at her, she doesn't look like most people who are in the South in the United States, especially in the 80s and 90s when I grew up. So when people would find out, they're like, oh, what is your mom? Is she Native American? Like, well, she's half Mexican. And so the response 100% of the time throughout my whole life is this, oh, so your mom's Spanish. Well, she's half Mexican. Yeah, so, so you're Spanish too then, huh? Do you speak Spanish? And it's always, you're Spanish, you're Spanish, you're Spanish, your mom's Spanish, Spanish, Spanish. So I just go along with it. I know there's an obvious difference between Spain and Mexico, but in America, in casual conversation, because we are so close to Mexico, and because there are so many people who moved here from Mexico, people don't distinguish like they do in Europe. It's an obvious distinction when you're in Europe or in Spain and you think of someone who's Mexican. But here in America, it's, it's a lot different. So I learned to just kind of go along with that. Um, but as far as, and I've made another video already recently to, talking about the, the disconnect that I feel with Europe. I don't feel attached to Europe. I don't feel that I should feel ashamed if I can't name every nation in Europe any more so than I should be ashamed that I can't name in every nation in Africa or Asia or the Middle East. I don't have an emotional connection to Europe. I just don't. And I've traveled the world. I mean, people will come up, you need to see more of the world. I have. I spent two summers teaching in Bangkok, Thailand. I spent time teaching in Myeongji University in Korea. I've been to New Zealand. I've been to Ecuador, Trinidad and Tobago, Canada. I've been to many different places. I've just never been to Europe. And they say, well, you should, you should travel Europe. You should see more about Europe. And my response is, I'm happy that you love Europe so much, but I'm just not aching to get over there. Like, if anything, I'm ready to go back to Thailand or New Zealand or lots of places in the world. But I'm just, I don't feel there's a disconnect with me in Europe. And it's not that Americans don't like Europe. It's just maybe we're just not that fascinated by Europe compared to the rest of the world. So I am a world traveler. I have traveled a lot of the world. I do absolutely agree that the um, United States and Mexico have much more in common with each other than America does with Europe. There's a whole ocean in between America and Europe. And as far as Mexico, we border this place uh, in Mexico. So I just wanted to acknowledge that. I 100% agree with the comment that I received. If you have anything to add to that uh, or to tell me that I'm a dumb American for, for talking about it, because a, a lot of people in Europe don't like me. <laughs> especially in Spain. They don't like me because I, I'm i not as fascinated by Europe. But I mean, there is a cultural disconnect when you grow up here in America. It's like Europe is not greater than the rest of the world. Like, it's more like the whole world's great. Go see the whole world. And no, I don't feel emotionally attached to Europe. It's a great place. But if I'm going to travel the world, it's not the next stop on my map. And that's nothing against Europe. It's apathy. It's nothing that I mean to be offensive. I think that's the culture of an American, and that's why I like making these videos. Uh, even if I become the bad guy, if I become an unlikable unli host, at least I'm being honest and I'm giving you a glimpse of how different things are over here and how we perceive the world. The world is a great place. But to say that one part of the world is better than the other or that I should feel connected more to one than the other, I can't do that. I think my own DNA speaks against that because with my ancestors coming through Spain and Italy, so much came through there. So it came even from out of Europe. And there's just there's too much of a history for me to just feel so fascinated by Europe. Give me a, a, a free plane ride to anywhere in the world, mm, I'd probably go back to Thailand.